Hey guys, today's video is going to be a drugstore makeup haul. I picked up a few new makeup items as well as some older ones that I've been really wanting to try. So I'll start off with what I got from Walmart. The first thing I got was the Maybelline Flash Sensational Mascara and it's in the color Black is Black. And I just really, I love Maybelline mascaras. They're like the best drugstore to me, especially for the price. None of them, well, especially at Walmart, none of them are, none of them are more than 7 or $8, which is really good. The next thing I got was the e.l.f. Eyelid Primer, which is a oldie but goodie. It's really similar to the Urban Decay, and this was a dollar. The next thing in the bag, which I am super excited about, and I was looking for it everywhere, and I didn't really know which shade to get, so, um, but this is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte, the new foundation that they just came out with recently, and I got the color, um, 110 Cream Cafe, and I hope this matches me, but, um, I'll be trying it out soon, and I also got the powder that it comes with and I got this in the color 600 golden beige the um I swatched the foundation and it looks like the swatch that's on the bottle is it looks darker than how it swatches on the hand so hopefully those two match the next thing I also got was the um the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless like we have a matte theme going here which in the bottle just looks like this and I got it in the color 322 Warm Honey. From L'Oreal, I also got a um, the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. And I got it in the color W7 Caramel. And the last few things I got from Walmart are um, a Real Techniques brush, finally. Like, I don't own any Real Technique brushes. And this is just the um, Expert Face Brush. And I wanted to get all of them, all of the ones that I've seen, but this was the only one left, so I only picked up one. From um, Simple Colors, I got C'est La Vie, which is this pretty, like, um, what color is this? Like, blurple kind of color, periwinkle maybe? I don't know, but this color is really pretty, even though it's like a spring color, but I think it will look really nice. Um, I also got this uh, Maybelline Molten Eye Studio Eyeshadow, Eyeshadow, <laughs> Eyeshadow in Taupe Craze, which looks like this. And the last thing I got from Walmart that was um, makeup related was a Pond Cold Cream. It's the uh, Rejuvenous Anti Wrinkle one, which looks like this. And it came with a free um, dark spot correcting cream. The little one so they actually came together for skincare from walmart i also picked up the um nivea moisture cream cream moisture moisturizing body wash and i actually tried this out already it it works pretty good i'm not a big fan of the scent but it is moisturizing and from that same line i also got the um the essential essentially enriched body lotion and this lotion um is i tried both of these last night and they both they work really really well drugstore wise they were both 488 and the lotion is actually a lot thicker it's more of a cream instead of like a watered down lotion so i really like that and moving on to more skincare i got the uh neutrogena visibly even foam cleanser Foam cleanser. I've tried this before and I really do like it as a um, morning face wash. I use it with or without my Clarisson. It works really, really nice. And um, by just the Equate brand, which is the Walmart brand, it's compared to the Cleaning Clear. It's a uh, breakout control acne cleanser. I don't actually have acne, but I do get breakouts and I find that like products with salicylic acid in it or the uh, benzoyl peroxide work the best. Like I'll just use it once a week to prevent it since it's a um, breakout control facial wash. And the last thing I got from Walmart, which is, it's not beauty related, but it kind of is, is a uh, silicone pot holder. This is crazy, it's just by this brand. And I actually got the idea from a Queenie Rosenblatt where to use this to wash my makeup brushes because I don't want to spend the money like 30 or 40 dollars buying these silicone um, brush gloves to wash my brushes and this works just the same exact way and this is like three dollars. Now to what I got from Walgreens. 
first thing I pull out of the bag are um, three Maybelline concealers. I got the um, Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer and I got it in the color Honey. And I just bought this to um, like add to a highlight, not to really conceal anything. So I just want to try it. And then I also got two Maybelline Fit Me concealers, which I'm so excited to find. I hear they, um, they're really good concealers and that it compares to the NARS Creamy Concealer. So um, I got one in the color medium and I got the other in the color uh, 35 Deep. I wasn't really sure. Like looking at them side by side, like the deep looks brown like with more of a red undertone and the medium looks more like it has a yellow undertone so i might be able to mix the two and get my perfect tone. the next thing i got was the um the wet and wild on edge cream eyeliner and i actually bought this to fill in my eyebrows with and it's in the color coco rouge which is just a uh, dark one. next in the bag i bought the elf uh, makeup mix mist inset and the last two things i got from walgreens um, I bought a pedicure kit, which just comes with these to do some um, at-home pedicures in between salon time and the Dickinson's Pore Perfecting Toner, which I really do like a lot. So that's everything I got. Oh no, there's a, I bought one more thing. <laughs> and the last thing I just got was the um, Nair facial cream, like hair removing cream. I've actually never tried this before, so I'm hoping it doesn't irritate my So that completes my haul, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and please, 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 please subscribe. It would mean so much to me.